Hi everybody, and welcome back to Under the Cuff. Today's Under the Cuff is none other than the Bond Watch. Yes, the Omega Seamaster Professional reference number 25.31.80.00. I'll go ahead and take it off the wrist and start the review. Just like every superhero, a watch collector has his or her own origin story. Bruce Wayne tragically witnessed the murder of his parents, Peter Parker got bit by a radioactive spider, and my story started with this. Goldeneye. I was 10 years old and just like Frank Abagnale Jr., I became enamored with the thoughts of becoming a gentleman spy. However, unlike Frank, I did not have the money from conning people to get an Aston Martin, but this watch stuck with me. I remember watching my generation's Bond, uh, Mr. Pierce Brosnan, use this watch to cut himself out of a train that was about to explode, or even remotely detonate explosives. Although I'm a bit late to the party considering this watch was made from 1993 to 2006, uh, this watch was my original Grail watch, and I can't believe it took me this long to get it. I kept telling myself to wait until I found a new old stock watch, but at this point in time, um, I think it's the best bang for your buck. So if you can find a good used one on the market, pick one up. I have a feeling that they might be going up in price, especially with the 2018 release, bringing back the wave dial, and not to mention this being a, an iconic Bond watch. I really love this watch, and I sent it in for servicing by Omega, and it looks brand new. Let me go over some of the technical specifications of this watch. This watch is COSC certified. It has a date at the three o'clock position, a screw down crown and a helium escape valve, something the Rolex Submariner doesn't have. The case and the bracelet are both made out of steel. The lug width is 20 millimeters. The diameter is 41 millimeters. And as you can see, the scalp bezel and the dial are blue. However, if you look closely at the dial, you can see those famous Seamaster waves. Um, those waves capti captivate me every time I look at the dial. The case thickness is about 11 to 11 and a half millimeters, which is quite thin for a diver. And it fits under the cuff quite easily and well. It has a thousand feet, 300 meter or 30 bar water resistance. It also has a domed anti-reflective scratch resistant sapphire crystal. And if we look at the case back, it has the legendary uh, seahorse design. Here's what it looks like on the wrist. If you have a chance, I do recommend you pick one up. I actually picked mine up off of eBay. I usually hate getting anything off of eBay but this seller had close to 100% positive ratings, and you get what you pay for. Um, just be patient and get what you want. Uh, just don't settle. Also, no matter how good it looks, be sure to send it in for servicing to Swatch Group through an authorized Omega dealer. Um, it will come back and it will look brand new. Uh, mine had normal wear and tear on it, um, and Unfortunately, there was a chip in the bezel. Uh, I'll, I'll add a picture of it in a moment. Um, but after I sent it in uh, for servicing, it came back looking brand new and that chip was completely gone. Uh, here's a picture of the chip. You can see it at the nine o'clock position. Uh, please don't for forget to like, share and subscribe to this video if you liked it, and be sure to follow me on Instagram where I upload pictures more frequently. Thank you, and see you next time.